everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a book review which I haven't done in over a year. Today's book review is going to be on Icebreaker by Hannah Grace which is a book that's just been everywhere like ugh, I see it everywhere. I will do a spoiler free review so if there's ever like a spoiler coming up there will be a spoiler alert i literally don't have a plan for this video so it might be like a messy review but hopefully it will make sense so basically i'll talk a little bit about what the book is what's about and then i'll talk about what like my general thoughts about it and then what i liked what i didn't like and then i'll give a final rating so if that sounds like something you want to watch feel free to do so. I really appreciate it. And yeah, fingers crossed that this is a not so chaotic review. So here's the book. Uh, you've probably seen this book somewhere. It was really fun to annotate. It looks really pretty. I don't know if you can see really well. Not really, but yeah, it is pretty heavily annotated. But yeah, I don't really feel like holding the book like this the whole time so I'm gonna put a picture up. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. That book is about a female figure skater. She is, she's called Anastasia. Anastasia? Anastasia? And she is practicing, while she's at university, she's practicing figure skating because she has a goal of going to the Olympics and she's doing like partners figure skating. And then we have Nathan, he is a hockey player on the team uh, at university, is also practicing because he has a goal. He wanna get into the NHL. It's a sports romance, <laughs> very obviously. So something happens, I literally cannot remember. I read that book a couple days ago. Oh yeah, something ha something happens to one of the rinks, um, the figure skater ice rink. Um, so they can't skate anymore. They have to share the hockey team's rink to practice. So they have to share the arena, the ice skating ring, and that causes a little bit of like tension. Like the hockey players don't want them there, and then like the figure skater, they want their arena back. So you know it's. But because of that, Anastasia and Nathan get to actually meet, and they get along pretty well. Eventually, Anastasia's partner gets hurt and she can't practice with him anymore and she needs to practice because she has like qualifiers or something in two months so nathan steps up and agrees to be her partner so she can practice and that's pretty much the jits of like the plot but we will get back to the plot eventually so in general i thought that book was an enjoyable read. I definitely had some moments where I was like, I'm kind of bored. I'm not gonna lie. According to the reviews on Goodreads, I was expecting to, this book to be like phenomenal and it really wasn't for me. Like this book wasn't a miss or anything. It was, and it was definitely not like a great hit either. It was really just in between. There's a good mental health representation in it and that part I appreciated. But then again, it's like, it didn't do much for me. The whole like, the, the whole plot, I just didn't vibe with it as much as I was expecting. But yeah, let's just get into what I liked about the book and then we'll go with what I disliked and then I'll give you guys a rating. So what I liked, I really like Anastasia's character. I thought she was really funny and sarcastic. Um, sometimes she was kind of rude, but like, in a funny way so it was fine um and i really obviously adored nathan um he's like a golden retriever type of boy and like he was really fun to read about i think i enjoyed his chapters more than anastasia's but like they're pretty equal i like i really like them both there is that mental health representation it's especially involving um eating disorders um so that is a trick warning if you want to read it um but it's handled in a good way i would say i really appreciate that to be in the book uh because i think it's something that's very there when you are in sports and it might not be talked about enough. And then there's like a whole part of it that's like during Christmas time. So that part I really, really enjoyed. So yeah, I think that's what I liked the most about the book. And then what I disliked. I think there's more things that I disliked than things that I liked that I can think of anyways. So first of all, this book seems like it had so many things in there, but also felt like it has nothing. And I'm gonna try to explain that in the most like simple way that I can. But basically there was like just tiny plots just coming up almost like unnecessary and that plot was like it lasted like two chapters it was a lot of those and that's why i feel like this book had a lot of stuff but also nothing because each and every like single little plot it didn't last long like i thought that there was a lot of like unnecessary plots just for the sake of having a bunch of different little plots um and i'm gonna put a spoiler warning right here so just skip to this time if you don't want to be spoiled 
But for example, there's a scene where Anastasia falls in a an ice river, and while that is scary and like like stressful, it resolves itself in like one chapter, and then it's talked about like once. So I'm like, why did that happen? What did that do to the story? And that's kind of like there's a lot of plots like that, and that bothered me a bit. That's like the main thing that I didn't like. Also, there's like a thousand characters, and I almost couldn't keep up so that made it a bit hard for me to read but for somebody who doesn't mind a lot of characters like that's not really like that's fine and finally i i can't tell you what the main plot is aside from what's written behind the book but what's what's written behind the book doesn't even feel to me like a main plot like there's so much spice in this book which is fine i do enjoy spice in a book but i feel like plot versus spice Portions could have been a bit better. Maybe it's just because like this is the first book I've read where it's like almost all spice and no plot. Um, but that made it really hard for me to read it. And I was like, when something happened, like when development happened in the book, I was writing like finally something happened. Yeah, maybe I'm just realizing that I need plot and not just spice to enjoy your book. But that's literally just personal preference, like if you love when there's only spice, good for you. I wish I did, honestly. And I might just, I might end up loving just spicy books with no plots eventually, but this was like my first one, so. So I gave this book a four stars. I was going to give it 4.5, but like after thinking about it a lot, I gave it four stars and I still stand by that. So four stars to me means that like I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it. I'm excited for what else the author is going to write, but it just wasn't my fave. It didn't give me everything I wanted. Um, it could have been a lot better, but still a good read. So that's what four stars mean to me. And for spicy level, I would give it a 3.5 or 4 out of 5. There's a lot of it. <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys today for this review. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you made it this far, comment down this emoji. If you ever see me on Instagram reading a book and you would want me to like film an actual review on it, just let me know and I can do it. Um, I want to start filming reviews again. But yeah, on that note, thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!